What kind of conflict do you practice with the people who come into your life and care? Does it work well to force them to do what you think is best? Would it work better to help them learn to trust their own discernment, uh, to find what's best for everyone? Do you want the leaders of tomorrow to be in the habit of forcing their way through difference or of practicing peace by working with those who disagree with them to find truly sustainable solutions? Peace has to do with learning to do conflict well, and this requires practice. If you agree, you're ready to work for a more civil society, a more humane world. Perhaps a world where we care for one another is just over the horizon. Welcome to Peace Practices. The choice to practice peace is now in your hands. Here's how we do it. In this story, we'll practice one way to prevent an assault. To get right to the point, we'll express hidden dynamics in words, which might happen more covertly in real life. Come on, you know you want to. I don't to. think so. If you don't, you're going to be sorry. How do I react automatically and find that it doesn't work out well? Come on, you know you Wait. want to. Wait! You can't! We use movement of the body to incorporate the concepts that we are demonstrating. How do I reply with you and peace practices in mind? Come on, you know you want Let's to. Let's think this through. How can I respond by changing the rules? Come on, you know you want to. No means no. I'm leaving, and if you follow, I will scream and everybody will hear me. How can everything shift? If you don't, you'll be sorry. Peace practices can help you learn to do conflict well so that you can get to a direct response immediately and whenever necessary. The method you've just seen is called martial nonviolence because it's been proven to break the cycle of violence and can be learned like a martial art. When you take martial nonviolence and you create a program for a specific group of people, that's called peace practices because peace requires practice to be your best option in the middle of stress. If you choose to bring peace practices into your community, you'll learn to do conflict well, to work well together, and you'll carry tools through the rest of your life to practice peace out in the world. Please make contact so we can design a program specifically for you, work with you in class, and one-on-one. -on -one. The work of peace will then be in your hands. Please subscribe to our video series as well so you can integrate this work with yours. And thank you very much for being here.